Hi guys, it's 220 Triathlon here with some kit testing for you. Today we're in the stunning Ashton Core and we're going to hit the trails to test Hoka's newest carbon plated trail shoe, the Tecton X. Tecton X is inspired by the idea of tectonic plates. That's why inside this shoe there's actually two carbon plates. They run parallel to each other along the length of the shoe and the idea is that they help you maintain propulsion as well as stability whilst you're running. The upper is made from engineered jacquard mesh for breathability and there's an extra long gusted tongue along the top here which should help locking the foot whilst you're running. Also in the midsole is a dual density pro fly construction. This means that there's a softer upper layer at the top here to help absorb energy and with cushioning whilst you're running. The bottom section here is much harder and that will help with a more explosive propulsion at toe off. I tested the Tecton X pretty thoroughly on a variety of training runs, from 5k to half marathons to ultra marathon distance, and I was pretty surprised at their performance. Hard pack trail is where the Tecton X really excels. The dual carbon plates protect from jagged rocks and roots, while the curvature from the early stage meta rocker helps to maintain energy for any distance and keep that forward rocking motion as you run. The 4mm multi-directional lugs do a great job of maintaining traction on a range of terrain, but they did struggle in really soft, wet conditions. The size UK 5.5s being tested in this video weighed just 210 grams. That's pretty good for a pair of trail shoes, especially considering the amount of cushioning and tech they deliver. I was surprised at the complete lack of rubbing or blisters. There's plenty of room for foot swelling in the toe box, but I would have preferred slightly more protection from the slim toe bumper at the very front of the shoe. On downhill, technical rocky sections, we did get a couple of stubbed toes. Presumably this is where Hoka has made some weight savings. An added benefit for triathletes is that the Tecton X features a beveled heel at the back of the shoe, which makes them quick and easy to slip on in T2 during an off-road triathlon. But let's talk about the real sticking point here, and that's the price. £175 is pretty steep for one pair of shoes. Overall, we scored this shoe 96%. If you're looking for a great all-round trail shoe that is lightweight, is grippy and is propulsive, and if price is no object for you, then the Hoka Tecton X is a solid option. For that 175, you're getting a shoe that excels on a range of terrain, that encourages efficient running gait, and that provides plenty of stability and cushioning.